I started blogging in July 2003. Back then it was every Saturday, totally devoted to angling. It's evolved over the years. All good blogs will do that. They will develop and move forward. Now I post something every day and although angling is very much part of what I do, I also post general things as well. It's called Welcome to My World. So football, my record collection, for example, all of those blog entries will find their way into my daily output. I do also use video as well. So blogger, vlogger, a video log. And I use YouTube as a hosting platform. I've been doing that now for many years. That's my camcorder. It's a JVC quad proof, so it will stand being dropped into the water. It will stand the heat, the cold, the dust. Very, very good. This is a, a great camcorder. It's very cheap, only 200 and something pounds. I don't use it that often. I've gone through several over the years. I tend to use it now when I want to say do birds from a distance because this will give you a decent image. Because I blog so much, if I use that, there's lots of clips that you have to put onto your computer, you have to work on with the software, and it does take time. And if you are a blogger or vlogger or both, the last thing you want to do is for it to become a burden. It has to become a pleasure. That's important if you are a blogger. So what I do, the vast majority of my videos, well into 90% plus of them, I actually make on my iPhone. Now I've got two iPhones, one I'm recording on right now, and this one. When the contract ends, I get another one, and I'll tend to use the older one for the angling videos or when I'm out and about. So, if you've got an iPhone, you will notice, or you can download it, iMovie. So you go into iMovie. Now I'm not sure how well that's coming out on the screen there, but you can actually uh, see a, a couple of um, videos that I've made. They're trailers. I've started to experiment with those quite recently. And there'll be one, of course, before you started to hear me talk on this video. Now trailers, it would be good if you could make a trailer for every video, taking some content from each one. But again, it's all about the time, it's all about the commitment, and it's all about making things a burden. So what I'm going to do, I've created a couple so far, one for my music, I'll do one for football, one for my memorabilia, uh, angling as well, and a general one. And then over time, when I've perhaps got a few minutes sitting down, I might make a new trailer, just some different images, different text on there. If you have the time, you could do a trailer for each and every video that you do. But I certainly haven't got that sort of time. But a trailer's good. I think it gives a professionalism to it. It gives you that introduction that looks like it's leading somewhere interesting and hopefully the content afterwards will be. So I use an iPhone and I've got this contraption that I call it. It's a tripod. It's a, it's a cheap tripod. It's a flimsy tripod. And like any tripod, you can adjust the legs there, which is great when you're fishing on a bank. You can set it up behind you so that it doesn't blow over or, or topple over. This is a selfie stick, a pound world. And you just raise that and you put your iPhone across and you can record. It's just taped up. It's, it's a bit of a botched job, as you can tell there from the screen. But the important thing is it doesn't matter because when you produce your videos like I am now, I've also got another device, another contraption in front of me, a little bit more secure that one. I use that one for my football interviews. It doesn't matter what it looks like, it's how the videos come out. What you're looking for essentially is something that will hold your iPhone so that it doesn't wobble around. Unless of course, as I often do, you hold the camera up and you film yourself as you're walking along to the lake. That's okay because again, that brings a, a different feel to things, doesn't it? It's more of a, a raw recording when you do that as opposed to what I'm doing now, which is like a, a studio recording, if you like. So very, very simple. 
it's a it's a cheap where well, you can get these for next to nothing just a cheap tripod and I've got a, a selfie stick cost me one pound taped on the end I can adjust that and I can of course as I said adjust the legs then I'll get the clips from my photos on iPhone I will transfer them to the uh, movie iMovie and you call it's called create a movie so put your trailer on first and then create a movie and you can edit them on there so you can clip off all the bits where you're talking and your hand goes up and turns the like you like that like if I was doing that now your hand goes up and turns it off you see people put videos out where they include that well on iMovie or of course software on a, a laptop you can you can condense that so that you don't get all of that again looks more professional I'm really impressed with iMovie and without doubt I wouldn't be able to produce the number of videos that I do if it wasn't for iMovie. I can go fishing in the morning and I've got maybe 10 clips, 12 clips to put on. I'll get back home, put the kettle on, have a cup of tea and by the time I've done that I've produced a movie. It really is good. Now obviously you might not have iPhone but you'll have another phone I'm sure and there'll be another alternative on there but that's how I produce my video's got the trailer now, so I think it makes it look more professional. I used to do that some years ago on my angling videos. I had a little introduction trailer and my wife played the guitar. She produced a song and we called it The Angling Widow, which was a very interesting one. People got to become familiar with that. In fact, there was a band, not a well-known one necessarily, but there was a band, an indie band, who produced an EP and they took The Angling Widow and they did their own version of it on the EP. So that was good. You never know, do you, who's watching in, watching on the things that you produce. I make my videos now, really, for myself. I enjoy looking back. My blog has evolved, talking about the development of a of a blog. My blog has evolved and it's now become a personal journey. When I was a kid, many of us used to write diaries and we'd write down every day the things that we did. And it was always nice to look back, especially as the, the days, the weeks, the months, even the years go by. You can look back at the things you did then. And for me, that's what I enjoy doing with my blog. I've just come back from uh, the Faroe Islands a week or so ago and even now well last night actually I thought you know I've got 20 minutes or so I went onto my blog and I looked back at some of the videos that I'd made there of the beautiful Faroe Islands it's the equivalent of looking at your photographs isn't it and looking back on memories even if they're a week old or a month or a year or a decade or beyond so for me I do very much now see my blog as a personal journey and a personal diary and a personal recording of life's adventures. And so I look at it from that angle, but I make it public so that people can look in, people can look on. And when it comes to fishing, be inspired, get tips. When it comes to football, maybe you're a football fan and you like to look at the things that other people get up to. My memorabilia, I collect and I post on the internet. And I know lots of people also collect memorabilia. So they like to have a look at what someone else has added to their collection. But that's motivation for blogging. <clears throat> you might want to be famous. Some people want to make a name for themselves. Nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. So they'll have videos that they'll put out there to try to get a following of people who will come on. For me, I'm interested, as I say, in just recording life's adventures and, if I can, inspire a few people along the way, encourage a few folks along the way. That's job done. We do live in a very well, I often think when I was younger, if we'd have told people what society would have become, they wouldn't have believed you. We do live in ever changing times. And for me, the greater the darkness, the easier it is for the light 
to shine through, to be positive, to be an inspiration, to be an encouragement to people, as opposed to the nitpicking and the arguing and everything else that you see so often on social media. So that's my motivation for blogging and that's a little bit there about the videos that I produce and also the trailer that I've just introduced as well into the videos. If you haven't started blogging yourself, maybe give it a go. Maybe you're thinking about it. If you go onto my website and type in tips on blogs or something like that, I can't remember the exact title, you'll find a couple of articles or maybe several references as well, but certainly a couple of articles that I've produced not that long ago and videos as well about blogging and what platform to use and your motivation and all that sort of stuff. Happy blogging.